Alright guys, doing another update video, this time on the Slash and the Rustler. Mainly because the Slash has a problem with it, and the Rustler is running perfectly fine, so... The main problem with the Slash is what I've been kind of bummed out about. As you guys may... There's right there. You may have already noticed, but there's no motor in it. Yes, my Valenion motor did blow a bearing. I was on the Traxxas forums talking about that. And it's by the repair kit, but I don't trust myself enough to use that repair kit, so I've just been mainly doing maintain work on it. I just put Rainex on the shell, wash and Rainex. I'll pull it out for you guys. Soccer, please get out of the way. There it is. I've had this Rainex uh, foaming car wash. Concentrator works perfectly well on the shells. There's nothing that won't thin your plastic out as far as I know or anything like that. So that's pretty good. I did wash it, but under this, there was it was caked with dirt. I mean, literally caked. There's still a little bit from the on the duct tape where I patched it up. That was just full of dirt, and now it's not there anymore. So, Slash being out of commission for a while, let's go to the Rustler. I haven't been doing much about it, mainly because I have a faster car. But So, I took it out to the park the other day. And this thing jumps high. And I mean really high. Higher than that. Higher than uh, Jeffrey Stampede. It was pretty cool. And uh, I never did tell you guys what I did upgrade over the summer and everything. So, I will might as well do that now. I have uh, Proline... Road Ridge tires on my stock alias rims. And I'll tell you why I painted it blue in a minute. No water in these whatsoever. There's tons of them on this, but none of it in here. The foams are really, really stiff and it does. I've had that ever since October and there's been no wear on it. So that Titan that I had to get uh, is my free one. It's still been pretty good. And uh, nothing else has much happened except I did scrape the antenna and chop a little bit of it off. But as long as it's a little bit, you should be fine. And I have not had much problems with that other than some interference yesterday. But, okay. The story on the rims. I painted them blue because we tried to get the tire off with acetone because it's our, it's our first uh, tire we ever uh, taken off because we had to get the old tread off. And uh, we uh, soaked it in acetone overnight and Found out it dulled the chrome on the rims, it scratched it up and everything. And we figured out we can just boil it. <laughs> so that was a really dull moment there. So I just took sandpaper, I scraped it down pretty good, and I spray painted it blue to match to the shell. Which, it looks pretty good with the shell on it. Rough fit, but it looks pretty good. Um, once, oh, let me just walk over here. Cool thing, this battery, if you're looking for a new Nymph, I covered this in my last Slash Update video. This thing, my Jeffrey's changed his specs two, three times, and then he bought one of these. And this thing lasts forever, I mean... I can bash pretty 45 minutes of constant driving through dirt, through whatever, and it runs fine. This paired with the Onyx 200 charger, this thing will charge it in about 45 minutes on the 3 amp setting, which 3000 mAh is 3 amps. Still got my power cell. This is the first pop Texas power cell I have ever owned. It uh, came with my Rustler, and it, it still has decent charge and pretty good motorbike. But that's just a little update for you guys. More coming on the Slash soon. We sent out the motor on Monday of this week. So it should be coming in pretty soon. Hopefully we can get some trailing videos up with these guys. When camping season starts because I know a place that has awesome trails. So this is uh, Traxxas Rustle Bros. Video. Bye.